All right, boys, we are back with another Rarity Collection 2. Let's see what we can do. That also kind of rhymes, I guess. Rarity Collection 2, let's see what we can do. It's the last video, the very last video. So if you're watching this chronologically, we pulled a lot of high rarity uh, spells. So let's try not to do that and actually try to, you know, get, get at least a waifu in here. Come on, Apollosa, IP bike form. Uh, the, the goddess or underworld, underwear goddess, whatever the hell her name is. Let's at least try to pull one of those in a platinum or QCR. Please, Konami, or, or Moonlit and Chill. I'll settle for, for Moonlit and Chill. My friend, Purely, Super Trishal Dragon of the Ice Barriers, Super Skullmeister Ultra, Phantom Knights Ultra, Soul and Luna Ultra, number 38 Ultra, and, 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 and Anti-Spell Fragrance, uh, secret rare. Okay, Appalosa. I mean, we got the we got the Appalosa. This is pretty hard to get. It, I think in, I've opened up four boxes and I've only pulled like three Appalosas, which is actually pretty crazy. Some people were saying that uh, since they included Appalosa in Rarity Collection two, they're predicting that it's going to be hit on the ban list, which I'm not exactly sure on that one. But uh, we'll see. Poly Super. Oral and Dragon Ultra, Purely Pretty Memory Ultra, Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres Ultimate. That looks pretty nice, actually. All those balls flying around in the air and, sh and whatnot. Just make sure you don't get hit in the face. Uh, Rescue Cat Ultra. A hey, Guarding Chimera Platinum. That is badass, actually. I wouldn't mind this as a QCR as well. This is one of my uh, go-tos. Uh, or, you know, card that I want to get from this set in every rarity, because, I mean, speaking of another one, so it's not, we're not just chasing the, the wife foods, you know, we ain't just chasing the bitches, we are also trying to, to find some of the boys out here in the uh, rarity collection, too, sucky, sucky, super, purely pretty memory collector rare, I keep pulling this card, I feel like, uh, some, something's telling me to play purely, or something, uh, Book of Eclipse Ultra, Illusion of Chaos Ultra, yo, QC, this is all, this is starting off pretty hot. Like, we're not pulling the waifus, but the at least, like, meta-relevant high-rarity cards go, like, this is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, Garura QCR, hell yeah, actually, I kind of want to see it, because Garura is one of those cards that is kind of hit and miss on the higher rarities, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with, it's all, it's, a, it's about average, as a QCR, I feel like all the uh, the fusion cards are a little bit. They don't look that good in in QCR or Starlight, in my personal opinion. But uh, you know, you you guys might have different opinions out there. Foolish Burial Ultra, Rescue Cat Ultra, Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon Ultra, Droll and Logbird. Would mind this is a higher rarity as well. Uh, my friend Purely and a Soul Soul and Luna Secret Rare IP IP was in there, hiding behind the Soul and Luna. All right, we got Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon, Super. Hey, Garura, Super as well. Bingo Mission Go Go, Ultra Rare. Hey, there we go, Guarding Chimera as a collector. I think I already pulled this before, but again, anything higher, higher, higher rarity that is also good is okay in my book, right? Especially if it's at least somewhat generic. Guarding Chimera, uh, Wings of Resident Life, and basically any of the waifus in this set are pretty, pretty generic. So. Oh, shit, okay, back to back. So yeah, I, I will take those any day. But uh, Golden Sar gold Sarcophagus, I always call this card Golden Sarcophagus, and actually now I'm kind of, I've always, I said the name wrong all the time. That is crazy. I thought it was Golden Sarcoph Sarcophagus. Anyway, so uh, Gold Sarcophagus, uh, Collector Rare, nice, nice. Not the best pull in my opinion. There should be something in the wings here, I think. Ooh, yeah, that is a Platinum. Platinum Effect Monster, Trolling Log for Let's Go. What didn't I say? Didn't I say I wanted this as a higher rarity? Now we're pulling something fierce in this box. Trolling Lockford, uh, Platinum Rare. Hell yeah, man. I feel like those Trolling Lockfords, if you guys are, you know, investing in something, go for the Secret Rares and the Platinum Rares and QCRs in, in the Trolling Lockfords if you can afford them because they do look pretty nice with the colors, you know, because it, it's like... Uh, I don't know, the orange with the yellow and the green in the background. It looks really nice in all those rarities. Uh, Cerevis, the Ancient, Coral, Dragon, Axis Code, Talker, a 
a bright co another coral dragon secret and then a side frame lord omega secret rare okay okay access code is, an, is another card that people are speculating that is going to get hit on the ban list relatively soon because it, it was included in here but uh, again i don't know i mean access code isn't really that bad of a card to be honest barura like it sucks when you lose to it but it's also well, you could have prevented it in most cases service the ancient and ascended collector rare okay silent magician and then a solemn strike seeker rare noise noise all right man there's a, still a lot of packs we already pulled some bangers too MST Super, Pre-Preparation of Rights, uh, Super Poly Ultra, Trisha, oh man, I hate seeing this card, man, it's, like, it, in any rarity, I, even as a Super, I don't, I don't want to see this card, it's just been printed so many times, no deck is using it, and the Ice Barriers are, like, shit, they're a terrible archetype, so, yeah, I just hate to see it, but, uh, that's an ulti right there. Forbidden Lands, there is something in the wings as well. Enemy Controller, all right. IP Bike Form, oh man, it would have been nice to get an IP, uh, what is this, a Platinum? No, this is a QCR. Light Monster, Silent Swordsman, okay. I was going to say, is that going to be the uh, uh, the other the other Ghost Girl? I think it's a Light. Blinking on the name, but no, Sil Silent Swordsman unfortunately but it is a monster so i will take that i will take that all right we're sitting at two qcrs and two platinums one guardian chimera super drone lockbird super crystal wing ultra cross out designator hell yeah as an ultra rare uh the secret rares are also actually kind of seen buyout so you know heads up on that one unchained soul of rage ultra solemn warning and a Garura Seeker Rare. Hell yeah, dude. I'll take that pack, actually. A lot of the... Uh, actually, I think the Crossout Designator QCR is pretty expensive as well. So, I, I don't... I feel like it's a little overvalued, to be honest. Because, I don't know, Crossout Designator is one of those cards that I never really understood. It's not that good, to be honest. Uh, it's really good against mirror matches, but, you know, those are few and far between sometimes. Uh, Guardian Chimera, I guess not, actually, that is insane, two, wait, so Planum Guardian Chimera, Ulti Guardian Chimera, and a Collector Rare Guardian Chimera, this is a gu Guardian Chimera, oh, look at, and a Garura, <laughs> yeah, that is, <laughs> so we got a QCR Garura, and then a, uh, Platinum Garura, the, I think the, actually, the, the, this is a, is a Platinum looks pretty nice, I don't know, something about the, uh, the shatter foil or whatever on the uh, the name that does it for me, but uh, hell yeah, I mean I'll take this. This is a very meta centric uh, box. It seems like holy shit. Okay, okay. Um, still though, we need the waifus. We need some waifus, man. We need some bitches up in here. This sausage fest up in here. I'm assuming Garura is a dude, by the way. So solemn judgment. Uh, hey, that is nice. Collector rare red eyes dark dragoon. It's, and some of the in some lightings it does kind of look like a ghost rare too with these collector rares. So, I mean, I, I do dig it. I do dig it. Uh, purely ultra Boroland dragon and a DD Crow Seagrow. So this is definitely I feel like a pretty meta box. I I feel like I'm getting a little bit lucky in this in this box. But uh, you you guys let me know as well. DD Crow Super Unchained. Oh yes, this this chick. Uh, see, it is a light monster. So it could have been Ghost Ogre. And Snow Rabbit. Access code. I mean, speaking of another... Holy shit. This, we're doing a recap at the end, guys. But this is pretty... There's some duds for sure. But this is a pretty decent box. Access code talker. Collector rare. Uh, alternative white dragon. Another guarding chimera. A... Oh. I mean, I, I dig it. But uh, it could have been a better card. In my opinion. As well. But, I mean, I'll take it. A monster card is way better than getting a higher rarity uh spell uh we'll put foolish burial there for now i guess all right all right all right oh man yeah we're doing a recap because this is a pretty decent box crystal wing synchro dragon abominations prison epilosa silent swordsman preparation of rights qcr you know it can't all be bangers it can't all be bangers trap tricks uh Raflesia, secret rare they can't all be bangers, guys. Although I, I also Silent Swordsman 
is not that good stuff. The QCRs are definitely lacking in this opening, but all the other rarities are pretty decent. Like, uh, it's not too, anything too crazy, but it's stuff that I enjoy. So I'm definitely ranking this box a little bit better. But uh, number 38, Collector Rare, Exceeds Encore, Dark Dragoon Secrets, Super Nimble, Mega Hamster. This card is pretty funny. The, the foiling on this card makes the eyes, you know, pop. Like, it's very prominent with the, uh, <laughs> with the rarity. That's actually pretty... Pretty funny there. All right, so come on, Appalosa or Underworld Goddess or IP. We need one of those in a QCR or Planum. I, I will settle for, settle for Planum because this box has been treating me a little too well, you know. Prim Primitive Planet Ultra, Twin Twisters uh, Ulti. Then we got a Moonlit and Chill Ultra. Okay, I'll put that right over there. Frame Lord Omega Ultra. Rescue Rabbit Secret and a number 38 Platinum. Oh, man. As soon as I saw the Xyz border, I'm like, nah, they can't be good. I, I, I feel like all the Xyz cards they picked in both Rarity Collection 1 and 2 are not that good. You know, like they, they had their day and there are definitely decks that could use them. There's like generic stuff in here, like Abyss Dweller for sure. But they're not that good good collector wise you know what i mean uh underworld goddess uh super charge of the light brigade super dd crow ultra heretic seal ultra peaceful planet ultra reflesia ultra a little bit of sucky sucky secret rare and a masquerade the blazing dragon that ain't bad actually this is pretty shorted as well it looks like that's pretty insane that's that might that might be the first phantasme i pulled in this whole opening that is crazy. All right. Moonlight and Chill Boys. Super rare. Silent Magician. We got an IP. This, this card is teasing me, man. It's teasing me. Blue Eyes Jetto Dragon Ultra. Silent Magician Ultra. Purely uh, Ulti. Okay. Got something here, maybe? I don't think so. I don't see anything shiny. All right. Now I'm pulling this card quite a bit, actually. I don't remember pulling this one in all the other boxes that much. Magician Souls, hell yeah, let's go. All right, so I think we need one more QCR because we're good. It looks like we're good on Platinum Rares and every other rarity. So maybe one more QCR is all we need here. Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, but maybe an Ultra or an Ultimate would be nice as well in here. There we go. Mind Control, unfortunately. Although the box has been treating us a little too well, so I will take it. But come on, one more QCR. One more monster QCR. Let's see what we can do. Fanta another dr uh, Phantasma there at the end, man. All right, I see you. Treasure Planet, Right Soth. Kind of miscut a little bit, okay. Mind Control. Okay, come on, man. We need it. Yes. Okay, monster, please. It's a trap. It's a trap. Uh, maybe Sucky Sucky. Sucky Sucky, Solemn Warning. Uh, I mean, so Solemn Strike, Solemn Judgment would have been my second pick over Skill Drain, but uh, I mean, this doesn't even come as third, I don't think. Although it is pretty nice with the little angels or whatever in the back. I guess technically I got my waifus right there. I got two for the price of one. So I got my waifus this time around. Oh man, I'm such an idiot. All right, so the QCRs are... Garura. I mean, the, the box was pretty decent. I ain't gonna lie. I pulled some stuff that I did want. Garura QCR. Silent Swordsman, not so much. Preparation of Rising, not so much. And then Solid Morning, obviously not so much. But uh, as far as Platinums go, which I don't know why you guys are not into the Platinums as much as I am. But uh, anyways, that's another discussion. Troll and Lockbird Platinum. Hell yeah. Blue Eyes Jetto Dragon Platinum. Number 38 Platinum. Garura Platinum, so it is possible, I guess, to get a Platinum and a QCR of the same card, same box. Guardian Chimera Platinum, noise, noise. The Guardian Chimera really came in and basically every rarity except QCR, that's insane. Number 38, Collector Rare, Axis Code Talker, Collector Rare. Dragoon, Collector Rare. Cerevis, Collector Rare. Gold Sarcophagus, Collector Rare, and then a Chimera. I hope that's not damaged. It kind of looked damaged, but I don't think so. Purely pretty memory Collector Rare. So the Collector Rares, I feel, 
are winning in this in this regard. Uh, Mind Control Alti, Purely Alti, Twin Twisters Alti, and Guardian Chimera Alti, and a Trishula, unfortunately, and a Heretic of the, of the Heavenly Spheres Ultimate. So, I mean, all in all, I'll let you guys decide, but we didn't pull any waifus that I wanted, honestly, in higher rarity, Platinum or Collector, or a QCR, but... It wasn't that bad. I mean, there's a lot of meta crap that we pulled in higher rarity, drawing Lockbird, etc. So I'll take that as a W, in my opinion. Catch you guys in the next one.